Hi guys, Metal Butcher here. I had a few guys ask about this um, tap driver for the bridge port, and uh, I plan on making a little bit uh, better explanation video. So this is that. Um, this is just a, a pretty simple homemade um, driver to drive larger taps than your Jacob's Chuck will typically want to grab. And uh, I designed this one for taps over half inch, so 9 sixteenths up to whatever will fit. Uh, currently the largest I have is a 1 and 1 eighth. And uh, it's, it's pretty simple to build. This part is just straight R8 copy. I just copied this piece for all the taper and all the dimensions. Um, you should be able to see that they're pretty much an exact match there on all their dimensions. So if you have one of those it works well for copying. Oh, so that's just a regular R8 taper. Um, 7 sixteenths 20 threaded on the end. This part is uh, grab my scale. I believe it's um, two and a half inches long. There. It's around an inch and a half in diameter. And the bore is one inch. It's almost two and a half inches deep. I overboard it a little bit. And the design for this is it just uses four set screws to tighten up on the taps. And then the taps are held in place with one of these bushings. I've got two sets of uh, set screws, each one of them at um, 45 degrees shifted, so that you can, this one's for shorter taps and this one's for longer taps. So um, let's throw a tap in there. Uh, this is the biggest tap I made it for. It's a 1 and 1 8 12. And you can see the bushing here. Uh, just a simple straight bushing. All these bushings are one inch on the outside and then the inside board to be just a slip fit on the uh, on the tap. So I got a one inch eight. I got a three quarter whatever. It'll do the fine and the rough thread. Same story. All the smaller ones are one one inch in length. Um, and then I've also got a uh, nine sixteenths here. I also made a five eighths but I apparently lost it, so <laughs> I guess I'll have to make another one. Uh, so let's put one in. Slip the tap up inside there, trying to visually line up one of those things. Just kind of push the collar in. And then you'll take and tighten one of the set screws down a bit. Tighten the other side, just, just till it touches. Same with the other side. Okay, now here's one of the disadvantages of this. The um, bushings are never that per precisely made. So if you just gronk down on one side, you're actually gonna shift the tap over and it won't run true. So I think the best method to get it equal is to put an Allen wrench on each side and then just tighten against each other. All right, standard R8. Just toss it in the bridge fork. That's all there is to it. Okay, and then a smaller tap works the same way. You either need a second set of Allens or you uh, need to shift your top ones down. I only have seven, so I have to shift one, but the rest I, uh, I can just leave in there. All right, and then don't forget to line up a flat visually. You're good to go and that's not super fast I'll admit but let's be honest if you're pulling this guy out it's probably because you have a lot of taps to run and you've got them on your DRO or what have you and you've already drilled them all and countersinked them all and you're ready to go and once you've got it set up and you got it you know pretty well in there uh, square you can just bang them out so it's really not bad uh, I'd recommend looking at a bomb 79s I kind of like his design but he hadn't released his video when I built this, so. If you're interested in making one of these, here's my rough plans. Uh, just pause the video. Um, in these holes, the lower set is spaced one and a quarter, 
from center. And the upper set is one and three quarters. But um, to be honest, you can run pretty much all taps over nine sixteenths with just the upper ones. And you could probably run most all of them. If you just put them at one and a half, you could probably get away with one set of uh, Allen's, Allen set screws just fine. 